Welcome to Better, a Tsang & Associates original podcast. I'm your host, Jane Park, and together we explore practical strategies for living a more mindful and fulfilling life. Today's topic is about relationships. I would say that open and honest communication and active listening are probably pretty important in any in any relationship and critical. But there are challenges, <laughs> right, when it comes to having a good relationships. These can be communication difficulties. We can be trying to be communicating properly and it just doesn't go well. Or also not being great at handling conflicts and resolving conflicts. I mean, I feel like we all know, right? <laughs> different expectations, like having different expectations than someone. Time management, not being able to give the relationship what it really needs to either heal or thrive or grow. Trust issues, obviously. Trauma from any past relationship. Changes over time, right? People change. We might have had a fantastic relationship with someone three years ago, but we're now both different people. And another issue that can make it hard to get better at our relationships is stress. <laughs> I'm sure that's relatable to so many of us. Whether it's financial stress, stress from relationships, stress from work, stress from just living. <laughs> it can be really tough. So what's a better way? I think if you know your love language really well, and if you know your apology language if you can do those two things well with people in your life, your relationship will be so much better. And people don't receive love necessarily the way you give love. And just because we love them doesn't mean they feel it. So communication is super important. So in a sense, when people focus on communication, what does that really mean? It means making sure that you actually heard what they're trying to say. So think, what is your love language? How do you communicate love? And what is the love language of the person that you're in relationship with? And a final thought as you go, just because we're old doesn't mean we're automatically good at this. Being humble is key. Let that sink in. <laughs> just because we might be in our 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, does not necessarily mean that we are great. It actually still takes work. It doesn't happen automatically when we become adults. Humility is really important. Did you enjoy today's topic? We aren't the ultimate experts, but we do love sharing our personal journeys, what we've been learning along the way, and in bite-sized portions too that fit easily in our busy days. If you'd like to study today's topic in more detail, we do have a YouTube series as well as in-depth Medium articles from Sang & Associates. Your feedback helps us reach more listeners like you. See you later!